Hello beautiful people, thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the mid-January 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Taurus. Totally fine if you find this video a few days before the middle of the month, or a few days after the middle of the month, you'll find it when you need it. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you the meaning of the cards, but I'll provide you with any intuitive messages they have as well. I do recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising to get a full picture of everything that's going on. But let's go and jump in. In our first column, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close for you, so things in the last few weeks. In column number two, we're going to take a look at everything that's happening between now and the end of the month. We're going to do a column on money, a column on love, and in the fifth and final column, we're going to take a look at a message from your future self or your spirit guides to carry into the end of the month with you. We'll also do three yes or no questions, a healing message, and we'll talk about your crystal of the month. Let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to pull an affirmation summary card. We have the card Dependability. Um, so maybe somebody's been depending on you or you've been depending on somebody, Taurus, um, in, in these last few weeks. But let's see what cards come through. The first card that we have is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands... Um, it's very free-spirited. It's very creative. Um, so I'm getting the feeling that you have felt free to do the things that you've wanted to do, Taurus. Um, also potentially very creative. Um, just seeing the lineup here, I do feel like people have been depending on you, but we'll continue to read through and see how those messages tie together. Then we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a card of teamwork. Um, it could be a card of commerce as well, expansion and travel. So some of you could have done some traveling so far in January or potentially have travel uh, plans. Again, the card though is oftentimes teamwork, which makes sense with dependability, whether that's you relying on others or others relying on you. Then at the bottom we have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is a card of nightmares. You do see this person sitting up in bed. Um, but it just could be a card of anxiety, grief, depression. So there could be some things that have been bothering you recently, Taurus. Let's go and clarify, though, and see what other messages we get for this first column here. The top card we have here is the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is, again, those kind of low feelings, um that kind of loss, depression. Some of you could have had a surgery. This card is paired with the Knight of Wands. Um, so I do feel like for those of you that had surgery, this is going to kind of give you that ability to get that freedom back. Um, but some of you could be getting freedom from these kind of lower emotions, which is a really wonderful thing as well. We have the Knight of Wands again. So I do want to echo the message anytime we have duplicate cards like this. Um, the Knight of Wands is coming through pretty strong. So again, very free-spirited freedom and creativity has seemed to be a message for you. Um, that's on top of the Three of Wands, which is again a card of teamwork. So you could have been supporting someone, someone could have been supporting you. Um, you could have been creative in the way that you've been traveling or expanding to as well. And then the bottom here, we have the Empress card. The Empress card is always favorable for you. You're sitting on your throne here. Um, but the Empress card is a card of creation. So we've talked a lot about creativity and creation already, Taurus. Um, it can also be a card of pregnancy, abundance, uh, fertility. Some of you could have been finding out that you are having a baby. Some of you could have been worried about that for a long time as well. Um, this could be news of grandchildren sometimes, um, but I feel like whatever this creative thing you've been working towards um, has been keeping you awake. Um, you've been worried about this creation, what you've been making. You've been worried about being able to make your abundance, Taurus, um, as the message is coming through. But again, the nice thing that this column is in the past, so we get to move forward from that. So let's take a look at what's coming through the end of January. We have the card Magnetism. I like the card Magnetism because that just means whatever you want, you can attract to yourself. Um, so be really thoughtful and make sure that you're attracting the right things going into the end of January. So let's take a look and see here. The top card that we have is the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is giving or receiving help. 
Um, it's a card of generosity. So you might find yourself in a position where you're either giving help or receiving help. It's very much so a card of money too. So thinking in terms of magnetism, you can definitely be attracting what you want to you. Um, so that giving or receiving. It's followed by the chariot card, which is a card of a change in action. Somebody once described this as the vroom vroom card. It means things are moving, things are going forward. You're on a journey, Taurus, and you're on the right journey. Um, again, with magnetism, you're attracting yourself to the right place. Then here at the bottom, we have the judgment card. The judgment card is a clarity um, a clarity card. It's always very favor favorable for you to... Um, judgment card is always in your favor, Taurus. Um, so I do feel like this journey that you're on is taking you towards your life's purpose as well. Um, the judgment card is very much so a life purpose card, but you'll be getting some clarity and possibly getting some confirmation that you're on the right path. Let's clarify this column though and see what messages continue to come through. So again, we're looking through the end of January. The top card that we have is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is a card of necessary transition. I like the Six of Swords. It looks kind of sad. Everybody's facing away from us. Their swords stuck down in the boat. But the boat is moving forward in the correct direction. Um, so just know that you're moving forward. Again, with the Chariot card, you are definitely on a journey. You're going places. Um, just know that you're going to the right place. This is a necessary transition. Um, that's paired on top of that giving or receiving card of generosity. So you'll be put in a position where you either need to give or will be given to. Um, but it's all part of this journey that you're on. Then we have the strength card. The strength card is a card of self-love, unconditional love, respect. It's also a card of courage with the lion on there. Um, so make sure that you have courage as you are on this journey with the chariot. Um, know that you're going to the right place. This is the action and change that you need. Um, so just keep pushing forward. You definitely have the strength to do this, Taurus. Then at the bottom, we have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of stress and exhaustion. Um, it's having too many burdens. If you look at this person, their head is hanging low and they're like crying into the bundle of wands. It's like you're doing too many things at once. I think you're going to have a clarity moment, Taurus, this month where you realize that you're doing too much um, and you kind of need to pivot and shift to make sure that you're staying on the path that you want to be on. Um, so don't overwhelm yourself. You'll have that kind of moment of clarity and you'll be confirmed that you're on the right path. Now let's talk about the money column. So this is anything to do with money. This could be your career, job, finances, businesses you run, investments. So let's see what messages we have relating to money this month, or the remainder of this month, I should say, Taurus. So we have two page cards in here. The first one we have is the Page of Wands. Um, this is very new energy, it's very active. So this will be a new project or a new creative idea. So likely some newness coming your way for work. Then we have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups um, can mean a couple things. Sometimes it's feeling unfulfilled. So some of you might not be fu feeling fulfilled with your current work. But also with this fourth cup coming in, it can be um, sometimes unexpected gifts or surprise gifts. So some of you could be getting a pay raise or a promotion or some sort of bonus that you are not anticipating. Then we have the bottom here, the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is a very curious card. It can be a card of gossip um, or kind of like prying eyes, really a card of truth. Um, so if you're seeing gossip at work, I would say try not to engage too much. But let's clarify this message for the money column here and see what we come up with. We have a judgment card the second time in the reading, um, but the Knight of Cups, let's talk about that first. The Knight of Cups is um, really the princess or prince charming card. Um, it's very romantic, it's very proposal-like. When we see it in the money column, it's a good new opportunity. So this could be an investment or a business partner, but it's very appealing, it's very attractive, it's a good move um, in terms of money. 
And again, that's on top of the Page of Wands, which is something new. So whatever this new thing is that's coming in the money realm, Taurus, it will be very beneficial and very worthwhile for you. Then we have the Judgment card again. Remember, the Judgment card is always favorable for you, Taurus. Um, so this will be more clarity in the work world as well. Um, there could be a decision, but this is guiding you towards your life's purpose. Um, so I would say if you're feeling unfulfilled, you're going to get a good shift this month, Taurus. Things are going to start coming your direction. Or if you are getting this surprise gift, I feel like this is a bonus or something you guys have worked very hard for. Um, and it'll just now be recognized. Um, there could be clarity too as to why you're feeling unfulfilled or where this is taking us. Again, the new item seems to be quite promising. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is one of my favorite cards in the deck. This is a card of good fortune. I love to see it in the money column. Um, it's a turning point. It's a card of luck. It's a great card for gambling as well. Um, but overall, a good card to have in the money column is the Wheel of Fortune. Um, but again, if this new thing is coming, I would say it's very beneficial. But in general, money seems to be at a good point for you. If you haven't been feeling good about money lately, I do think this will be a turning point for a lot of you. And of course, I can never say gambling is a good idea. But gambling and luck are associated with this card as well. Then we have the Page of Swords, which is the card it's on top of. Um, so there could just be some truth coming. Um, curiosity could lead you to this turning point as well, but I'm feeling new money coming in for you. Now, Taurus, let's take a look at the love column. So this could be love, relationships, family, kids, and see what we have coming through. The first card we have is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a really good card regardless of where we have it in the spread. This is a card of wishes coming true. This is material abundance. This is good health. Um, I would say this very closely aligns with that magnetism card that we had earlier. It's what you want you can have. So whatever you want from your relationship, your family, your love life is definitely available to you. What you want you will receive. Then we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a card um, sometimes of, I'm trying to think how I want to say this. It's typically a very traditional card. It can be a card of expectations or conformity. Um, I think that you're going to find, this is looking very positive, that like things are exceeding your expectations in the love life realm. Um, so whether you're in a relationship or looking to be in a relationship, um, I think you're in a very healthy relationship if you are in one, or if you are looking to find somebody, you'll find somebody that's exceeding your expectations. Then we have the star card. This is a card of renewal, hope. Um, another card of clarity, I've said that a couple times for you. Um, but it's a, overall a really good card. It's good energy. Um, it's very positive. Let's clarify this column and see what messages we get. You're going to have another chariot card there. Okay, the first card that we have is the Chariot. The Chariot is a card of action and change. It's about being on a journey. Again, it's that Vroom Vroom card that we have. So things are moving. Um, you're on this journey. So again, whatever you've been seeking, Taurus, you will be receiving. That's a pretty clear message there for you. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is very resourceful. This is a card of fertility, and we are in the family column so I do want to point that out for some of you that are hoping to have babies this could be a card of fertility um, but with the queen of pentacles it's just a very resourceful healthy relationship we also have the throne here um, anytime we have a card with a throne which we have two the hierophant and the queen of pentacles um, this is a card of happiness this is being in a good position again i feel like your expectations are being exceeded there is the message and then we have the two of pentacles at the bottom the Two of Pentacles is about having two, so this could be two choices, this could be multitasking, this could be weighing options. Um, so I feel like some of you maybe have been interested in two people or have been dating and then we'll make a decision. Um, it could be how you move forward with that chariot card. I do feel like there's a decision. Both paths look really good though, whatever you decide to do, Taurus. Um, and paired with that star card, whatever you decide will give you lots of hope. You'll have lots of inner clarity. 
and there will be a renewal of energy. So relationship is looking really good as well. Now let's move into our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guide. So something to carry into the end of month with us. We have a card efficiency. I really like efficiency. You want to make sure that you are efficient in all things that you're doing. But let's see what message we have. Okay, to kick things off with, we have the Lover's Card. I don't think I've seen the Lover's Card this month um, yet, or in this set of readings at least. But the Lover's Card is a really good card regardless of where we see it in the spread. This is a card of partnership. It's a card of deep love. Um, it's strength together. Um, typically indicates a very healthy relationship. However, it can also indicate a choice with the two beings here. Um, so some of you could have a choice or this could just be a reflection of healthy relationships. Of course, we'll conform, confirm. We do have the Four of Swords, which is a tired card. It's a card of needing to rest, retreat, recover renew your energy. Um, so some of you could be a little tired. Um, being paired with the efficiency card, I would say make sure that you're working smarter, not harder. Um, we'll of course clarify that message though. Then we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is very nurturing, very healing, very supportive. Um, so you do have a lot of support energy coming through between the Queen of Cups and the Lovers card. I'm feeling that you're well supported. Let's clarify this message though and see what else we can find here. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Anytime we have an Ace card, this is a card of newness. The Ace of Pentacles though is typically a card of a new job, new raise, promotion, investment, some sort of new income. Um, I could see there being a new business partnership for some of you, especially with it being paired with the lover's card or some sort of choice that's going to lead you to new money. But if you're seeking new money, Taurus, this is a really wonderful card for you. Um, again, a tie to the efficiency. Maybe this is a way that you're making your business more efficient to make more money. Um, but new money seem, seeming to come in um, involving another person with that lover's card. Then we have the Two of Wands. This is a card of waiting for results. This can also be a choice. Remember how we were talking about the Lover's card can be a choice. Um, but I feel like some of you have been tired for a while as the message that's coming through with this Four of Swords. Again, that very tired energy needing to rest and recover. Um, some of you have been waiting for a time to rest for a while. I would say now is the time, Taurus. Make sure that you're not burning yourself out making sure you're working smarter, not harder. Then at the bottom here, we have the Temperance card. The Temperance card is a card of balance, harmony, self-control, moderation. You see the two cups here and pouring the water between the two cups. It's really that beautiful, fine balance. Um, that's good to see after the Four of Swords, especially the Four of Swords waiting. Um, so there will be rest, there will be recovery, there will be balance. And that's partnered on top of the Queen of Cups, um, which is very healing, supportive, nurturing. So I feel like this would be a good time uh, to rest, recover, heal. Um, again, it feels very supported, Taurus. Now at this time, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. If you have them still, we're going to use the Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause this video um, and think of three, but we'll go ahead and get started. Question number one, we have the Queen of Spades. This is number 42 card. This is a yes. Question number two, we have the Two of Spades. This is number 34 card. That is also a yes. And for question number three, we have the King of Diamonds. This is the number 15 card. Um, that's also a yes. So three yeses for you, Taurus. Earlier this month, if you saw your January video, I did pull a card from the Healing Stones deck, which is a crystal for you to carry throughout the month. Um, keep it in your pocket, put it on your desk, put it on your nightstand. Um, the stone that you have for this month is Smoky Quartz. This is very much so a card of resilience. It helps with stress. It helps with anti-stress. Um, overall, a really wonderful stone to carry. And then last but not least, we're going to do a card from the Healing Notes deck because I do believe we could all do more healing. We have the card, we don't know how strong we are until being strong is the only choice we have. 
Thank you so much Taurus for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Um, if you subscribe to my channel, you'll be notified when I post videos in the future, and I do typically post a couple Taurus videos a month. Also, if you feel inclined, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Taurus, and have a wonderful January.